good morning ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video um, as you can see it's dark outside it is about 4 15 in the morning so uh, if you watched yesterday's video this roofing installation has to be delivered by noon today. I'm in Healy, Nevada. It's going to Roseville, California. So I got about 450 miles to put in in the next seven hours. Um, I was just jumping out some of these straps. They're not real loose, but they're loose enough. I don't want to have to worry about them in the dark. And I can't see the trailer behind me. So we're just going to go around and tighten up a couple. But as you can tell, I got a nice uh, quilted flannel on. It's probably, oh, I don't know, uh, I would guess mid 40s right now in Ely, Nevada. This one, this guy's parked pretty close to me. Oh. And I don't want to mess up his shit, so. We'll at least do the other side. So. And as you can see, I'm that jackass that pulled into a parking spot and then the truck stop filled up last night and these three trucks over here you know did what they needed to do to be able to park for the night and get some rest so it's going to be one of those fun ones getting out of the, the parking lot this morning but you know that's my fault for pulling in but I didn't want to back into this side because if I back in to where I'm at then the way I lay in my bed and watch movies and sleep in general um, my head's downhill and I don't like that so but with that being said I am done tightening down the straps gonna check my lights really fast and then we'll be on our way so I'll see you guys here in a bit so we are getting unloaded now and as you can tell we are in the front of the building out in the middle of the parking lot instead of you know common sense would say to be behind the building to unload but for some reason we're doing it out here so had to drive through the middle of a mall parking lot with cars and people and all that kind of stuff, but they've started unloading me. I got all of my straps off. And then, uh, for one reason or another, the guy unloading me is, uh, here, I'll just show you. Put them back on this truck. So, I guess either they ordered too much and they have to take their the rest of it to roof line over in where was roof line Pittsburgh Sacramento shit I can't remember um, but yeah so we're just playing the waiting game now which it is now 1245 but they were finishing up their lunch when I got here and then I just got done getting all the straps and corners and everything took off and put away and the hand winches and all that fun stuff so I'm done on my end all I have to wait for is them to get this off the truck and sign the paperwork and then we will be headed back to Reno I'm hoping I can be there by four it's about an hour and a half drive and it will be probably 
115 when I'm out of here, so so we should make it, but we'll see how that goes. But I have three hours and 34 minutes of drive time left total for the day, so that'll give me enough time to get there. Hopefully, get the uh, piece of equipment loaded, and then get an hour and a half down the road and call it a night. So I'll see you guys here in a bit. So, hold on one second. Got stuff on my lens. We made it to get this piece of equipment. As you can see behind me, I am at another Ahern Rentals. So, let me open this. We are picking up a forklift that's going down to Vegas. It's currently 3.30. Out of time, so they only load till four, so we just barely made it. But I only have an hour left on my clock to drive today, so I'll drive over to the Loves and Fernley, call it a night. But that being said, lots of equipment. I've hauled all kinds of this stuff, but um, let me have them get the forklift on the. Um, on the trailer, sorry. I was thinking why I was trying to talk and it didn't work very good. But I think that's the forklift right there he's bringing out. But anyways, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, as you've seen, they loaded the forklift. But, um, gosh, I keep getting dust all over my camera out here in the dirt. But, um, as you can see here, this strap's already tightened, but I threw a strap, I usually throw a strap over the forks, and then this chain, I will run it up and across this on a forklift. So you can do it a couple of different ways. You can run it across here. Um, the only problem with doing it across here is your chain will get bound up in these when you're trying to tighten it and whatnot. Uh, you can't do it across the little shocks or the maintenance guys will throw an absolute fit as they should because at that point you're going to ruin shit. And so one of the maintenance guys told me a couple loads ago, he said to just run them across here and then it just rubs on this steel pillar and it misses those hydraulic hoses over there and off the other side and he said they're perfectly okay with doing it that way on the front so I told him much appreciated good to know and then on the rear you have this pin and so this side's simple because you just take the chain run it through that side then drop it off here and then I'll show you with this one real quick. This one. Uh -huh. Sorry, I had to put the camera in my mouth for a second. I was biting it. But this one. Oh, and it's binding up on that too. See, that's the issue you have a lot down there. Is it just binds up on crap. That's a pain in the ass to run it across. Oh, it was hooking up on this little grease fitting. Sorry, you have to look at me. Set these down. I got a knot in this chain. I didn't realize was here trying to show you guys. taken care of so anyways let me get this tied down but as you can see you just run it across sorry more shit on my screen so you just run it across here and then obviously the back chains you have it going at a 20 30 degree angle whatever you want backwards the front chains 
need to come frontwards that way one chain's pulling forward one chain's pulling backwards you shouldn't have any issues the forklift should stay exactly where it's at but give me one second and i'll show you after i'm done all right guys as you can see i got the chain on now how i button up the chain is i just take all this extra linkage and just wrap it around and then once it's wrapped around i'll take a little short bungee And then just bungee cord it into place as you can see then it keeps the handle from popping open the bungee cord keeps the chain secure and that's that so a strap across the forks we got the front chain on as you can see it's not obstructing anything up there and then we got the rear chain done and it's going through that pin so but just like that we're ready to roll so I am going to head over to Love's and Fernley like I said oh and this side is compartment this is where all my chains and my binders I got a broom I have a smoke tarp got some extra bungees in that side as well but we are ready to roll so Excuse me while I crawl under the damn diesel trailer, whatever you want to call it. But uh, I am going to end the video here for the night. So, as always, I really do appreciate you guys watching, subscribing, liking, doing all the things that YouTube people do, I guess. But with that being said, uh, I'll see you guys all on the next video.